welcome back to a brand new Efteling vlog. Hello. So we're picking this up. We've just had our lunch at Cash Bar, which was really, really good. Yeah. And then we were just walking and we met a subscriber. We met Britt and you were so lovely and we got a picture by the lake by here. By the gondoletta, yeah. Yeah, it was so lovely You've to meet you. You've watched us for so long, uh, since before the honeymoon, yeah. I think. So thank you so much for spending that time with us through the years. Yeah, and for bringing the sunshine as well. Yeah, I think you said your name uh, meant. It meant like goddess of the sun. So yeah, yeah you brought the sun out because apparently last week it was really rainy. <laughs> I think the Pinocchio show is on in the winter wide, so we're going to go and have a quick look. Such a breakfast. <laughs> What is that? Een sjaal. Oh. Is het een sjaal voor jou gemaakt? Nou, maar gaat het werken, denk je? Nou, ik mag hopen van wel. Oké. En hij baat zijn voorpak in. He laat het er way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Is the train going past? Oh, and then. You know what I haven't done? I haven't put any paper or any rubbish inside any of the bins. I don't have any. I need to do that. <laughs> like this one. So this one keeps saying papier here. So it's asking for rubbish. Papier here. But I haven't got any. Papier here. And then there's the one by Max and Moritz. Which I really like where it like sucks the rubbish away <laughs> from you. <laughs> Oh, hang on. So, I think the entrance that we need for the fairy tale forest. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's there. Yeah. There it is. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. It's really obvious. <laughs> yeah. So it's right next to the theater. Oh yeah, and the literally fairy tale forest. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you never noticed that? Before? I don't know. Well, because we're always like walking from that way, so we've never looked back. But we're going to pop in the shop. I think this might be my favorite shop. Yeah, they've got loads of stuff in here. Christmas. We're seeing if we, they had some winter jumpers that were related to rides, but I don't know if they've still got them. Got some kitchenware, some tea towels. Champagne glasses. Oh yeah, <laughs> champagne flutes. Oh, and some champagne. champagne. Plates. Oh yeah, we're thinking about getting the fairy tale forest. So they Mug. have Cinderella. Oh, they've got different ones here. Yeah. You've got Cinderella and oh. Rapunzel. And then you have. I think that's. What's grandma, that one? so maybe Little Red. Oh no, Hansel it's Hansel and Gretel. Gretel, that one. When you go around the fairy tale oh, forest, you can smell it. Smell the uh, sweets. Yeah. Then you've got the actual. That's in general, isn't it? That's like. Yeah. Red Riding Hood, the wolf. Long neck. Oh, I don't know. The Hansel and Gretel one I quite like. But then is it nice to have long neck? I haven't, was thinking maybe. Haven't got long neck on any of our stuff yet. We do need them. Helena likes this is it a biscuit barrel? A biscuit, small? I'd put maybe tea bags inside. But you could use it for anything you wanted really. Quite a few of these 3D puzzles. Ravalan one, so this is the uh, stunt show. And then someone told us this amazing uh, fact that um, the buildings that are at the back of the Ravelan stunt show are actually offices. I mean, if I worked in those, I'd be distracted a lot of the time. So Helena's got this jumper. I quite like this hoodie. It's quite a plain one, just got the Efteling since 1952, but I really like the color of that. There's a lot of long neck merch. I think this is all recent. Socks, notepad. Is this a cushion for the aeroplane? Wow, well, yeah, I like a head. Cushion. Got your pencils. Is that a ruler? What's that? Just like a. It's a draft excluder, is it? Yeah. Just for your kitchen roll. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Can't see those jumpers anywhere. Hell, I really wanted the Droomvlucht one. You might have to settle for the socks. Maybe they were a Christmas thing. Mm. So I've just spotted this English version of Efteling Book of Fairy Tales. And this book contains all the fairy tales featured in the Efteling Park. That's amazing, I really like that. How much is that? 30. So we found a uh, open book so we can have a little look inside. Illustrated by Anton Peek. So this is the person responsible for like the designs for how the fairy tales look, or most of them in the fairy tale forest. 
and then I think like every subsequent design has sort of been inspired by Oh, this one's scary, the wolf and the seven kids. Oh yeah, let's skip ahead. <laughs> oh, it's lovely though, book of fairy tales. Hansel and Gretel. I think that would be great. Definitely our favourite shop, that one. Yeah, it's really nice. So this is where we came out. This is where you come out of the fairy tale forest. Oh, is that the end? Yeah. If you follow it the right way. Yeah. We'll Which we're going to do in a, bit. in a bit, yeah. But first... Number two. And somebody told me over YouTube that Droomvlucht has uh, over two million leaves. Oh, really? So we just come out of Droomvlucht. Actually, it was our second time going round. So that is three down! We did two in a row. Yeah. And I spotted some things I hadn't seen before. Yeah. There's a tree that's got a face and it talks. Mm -hmm. We spotted a peacock. Peacock I spotted, yeah. He was blending in quite well. I love that ride. We just spotted this photo up. Got this train here. The train. Careful. Your future's whatever you make it. So make it a good one. Sorry, just had to do my Back to the Future 3 reference. So we're heading on to Villa Volta. I've yep. been on this before, but Martin hasn't. I'm being brave. Yeah, he's being brave. I might have turned down Baron, but I'm going for Villa Volta. It has it from Fluch to house. It is a Malgalek. So we just did Villa Volta. Success, I conquered another ride. You did it. Proud of you. Yeah, and then in the build up, so somebody told me that the canvas, so there's an animatronic at the beginning, which you, you will have saw in the pre-show. And somebody put, somebody told me the canvas next to the animatronic. So this was as we were leaving the room, I quickly like scanned the canvas. It's Ton van de Ven, designer of Villa Volta, Droomvlucht, Fata Magana, and others. My favourite ride! <laughs> and then they're some... all very different though, aren't they, really, when you think about them. All those rides? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all like, because obviously there's a lot of rides now that have this ride structure, but every one of them is different. Yeah. Because of the, like the theming, the theming and also the way, I don't know, just every one of them is very unique. I like the theming of that one. Yeah. It was a very nice uh, room and yeah, the music's fantastic. Somebody said, I don't know if this is true, but somebody said that that was the first of its kind in terms of the right structure. Does anybody have more research on that? Okie dokie. Fairy tale forest. Hi. Fairy tale forest Fine. and Fine. it's Fine. starting Fine. to get dark. It's about five o'clock I think, so it might start, it might get dark while we're in there. See some of the twinkling lights. And some people on. said that it's even better in the dark. Yeah, we left the park at like four yesterday, so we haven't seen it yeah. when it's um, like this. Let's go and uh, catch up on what we missed out on last time. Do it the proper way around. <laughs> <laughs> so, we checked this morning to see if the uh, show was on in the theatre and then it looks like a few of the shows and entertainment that's here for Winter Efteling, it I'm looks as if they're sort of saving them for weekends. I don't know if they're on at the weekends. We're not sure, it just said no shows today. Cairo? Cairo? Cairo. Is on at the weekend, so we yeah. wondered whether the Winter Wonderland show is also just on at weekends. Yeah, but we did see, we Pinocchio. did, we saw a little bit of a it's Pinocchio, very which is it very was good. in Dutch, um, but obviously you, you like, you can get the gist. Yeah, but um, except when they sang the songs. Oh yeah, they did. They mm. sang Let It Snow. This is the entrance. This is weird going in this way. Going in the right way. I'm not sure how you say this bit. This translates, doesn't it, to the fairy tale forest? I think so. Long neck. We're going to see all the creatures. 
we're wondering how many people are going to be in the forest at this time. We also took someone's advice to go in it when it's a little bit darker, mm. so I'm excited to see it all bit up. So Sleeping Beauty is under construction, but we are at the first stop, the Gnome Village. That's cool, that's actually inside the tree. <laughs> it's inside of there. I think there's another view. There they are. Helena spotted a little hair at the back there. <laughs> this lady's doing a washing. Stole it! It's out more. Wow, that one outside looks cold. I think we can go in. Mm -hmm. Oh, the mice. Helena spotted that someone did this. <laughs> I love this so much. You'd never know, would you? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, hello. It's long neck and got a bobble hat on. Long neck saw Helner's hat and thought, I've got to wear a hat like that. <laughs> I think there's different, people have uh, developed different stories as to why this individual has a long neck. One of the stories that someone made up was that he had smelly feet. And so he was trying to get away from his smelly feet. But according to the actual story, he's a servant of the prince. Just got an unusual talent uh, that makes different tasks easy. His talent, he's got a long neck. Follow the red brick path. Don't go down any of the shortcuts. Carry on this way. This is uh, Little Red Riding Hood, if I remember correctly. Who we met, we got a photograph with. So with that one that we just filmed, there's like that big loud noise and then if you're stood on the centre square in front of like where there's this big object, then uh, it vibrates. This one you can actually get the parrot to say your phrase back to you. Say it back to you. <laughs> Last time we did, do not have ski. <laughs> This is reminding me of Into the Woods from last night. There was once an echt paard, and she woonde naast a boze toverkop. Toen de vrouw zwanger raakte, Rapunzel is een soort veldsla, en die groeide in de tuin van de toverkop. Zocht ook hij Rapunzel, en ze werden op slag verliefd. De toverkop die hun liefde ontdekte, werd zo boos dat ze Rapunzel's vlecht af. So here we have this one, which was under construction last time. The sign said it's called the dragon, and it said, "Do you dare touch the Should crown?" Oh, this is a good one. Especially in the dark. I've seen merch for this one. This is the one that I'm not too sure of. I find this really sad. <laughs> this is the, uh, the one about the wolf being at the door. The mum goes away, leaves the kids alone. The wolf pretends he's a businessman. They let him in and then he gobbles them up.
there be more to this tale that Helena just told me? If I remember correctly, because on Efteling's YouTube channel, they put up some little shorts of the fairy tales, like the story, and I clicked on that one because I remembered it from before when mm. we visited. And I think the end of the story is that she finds the wolf sleeping. The mum? The mum. Mum's come back. Yeah, he's sleeping by a lake. She cuts his stomach, gets all the kids out, and then fills his stomach with stones. Oh. And then the wolf wakes up, goes to stand up, and then because of the stones are so heavy, he then falls into the lake. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, there's more to that. So, a it's... sad ending for the wolf. But it's kind of like um, Little Red Riding Hood, isn't it? Yeah, because they, that... you get the grandma out of yeah. the wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I might be wrong, but I, f I have a vague memory that I watched YouTube <laughs> channel video. With that. You just made this all up. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe that in. Breathe it. Oh. You can smell like the cinnamon. Oh yeah. This is Hansel and Gretel's. Oh, good. Hansel and Gretel's really house. Dark now, isn't it? Really dark. I think if you do the handle on this one, something happens. Oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the cats! Oh! <gasps> There's the witch. <laughs> and then you've got Hansel and Gretel at the back there. That smell though really hit me when I came around the corner. Yeah, yeah, we saw this one last time, yeah. It does look amazing in the dark. It does. So you can just see the entrance there poking through the trees. And I'm excited to see it later when we leave because it's covered in snow and the lights in the dark just make it look so magical. Anyway, we're up to the next one which looks like some sort of wishing well. This one's about Mother Hall. So just over by the well there, you look down it and it has some story going on inside of it about a daughter who jumps into the well, finds herself in the amazing land of Mother Hall and then Mother Hall in the end gives her loads of gold for being so nice, I believe. I think that was the short of it. <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh, this is the one with the, the tail. Something to do with the donkey's tail. Yeah, we've never been around this oh, way. This is huge. See, I need to get the book. This is huge. I need to get the book so that I know what all of these are like from top to toe in full detail what they all are. Donkey lift your tail. Oh, what's this? The mirror speaks every two minutes. This is Snow White. Oh yeah, Oh yeah. In the glass case. Oh yeah. This bit is pretty. There's the six swans. I think it's a ride normally. I'm not sure if that's uh, going to be open. Yeah, do you want to look at it? But uh, no, I think we're going to carry on because okay. we're, we're trying to get done before Aquanura. So let's carry on going round. And then I think maybe we pop back, we can come back. during the day yeah. and check out some of these things. We've got, lots, we've got the last day as well. Yeah. There's uh, something happening over there as well. We're going to go see the water lilies. <laughs> Our favourite tune. Gonna go see them do their dancing. So huge this area, you forget. It really big. is. You've got to make sure you take a walk through it and that you set aside some time to do it. Because a lot of the things do stuff, don't they? Yeah, so you want to hang around for a few minutes at each. Yeah. They're getting warmed up. I think it just starts. 
Yeah, it does. It's when the sun sets, because it's at night when they start dancing. Oh! Lily serenade. Yeah, yeah, we were totally on our own. <laughs> we took disco. the opportunity to have a bit of a dance. But like it starts off quite mysterious and quite dark, and you think, oh no, what's gonna happen here? And they're just bu it busts like, into da, 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 da. and the, <laughs> the people come up and they're playing the instruments and oh I love it. Oh he's got snow on him, he must be cold. <laughs> Tom Thumb, the giant, is covered in snow but doesn't seem to be bothered. Having a little snooze. Uh -huh. See, something happened there. I put my hand in this, and then this character turned up. Got his boots by the fire. Oh no, it's his socks. This is Rumble Stiltskin, if I remember correctly, because Helena thought that was Rumple, but it's not. Rumple is in here. <laughs> I like this one. Hello, Derek. We were saying how much uh, we miss watching Once Upon a Time. And that we really should start watching it again, but it's just finding the time. But we might stop at season six if we watch it again. We need to watch, what was it called? Alice Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. There's only one season of that. Yeah. This was another one that was under refurbishment when we were here in May. But it's open now. Oh, oh. Is it a wonder? Sits in it good? A drone beeld vervaagd? Verdwijnt met the wind? Wonder bestaan? Right, so we're going to do the rest tomorrow because it is six o'clock, which means that we it's closing. Got in the match, girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a door slam and lock, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> that was really creepy. <laughs> but I was enjoying that one. Yeah, it's it was, uh, it's really done well with like the animatronic and the technology. This one's a really good one. This is the tree that tells the fairy tales. Bit of a mascot of the park. Good thing is, we did it in the right order. We did. We did the right route. So we've seen them all, but we'll probably come back yeah. and have a closer look at a few that we had to like go past quite fast. Yeah. And then this is the exit. So this leads us out by our favourite shop. If you remember in a previous vlog, we saw these big portraits. Now they are lit up. There's another one, the fire's all lit up. Oh, we do love a theme park at night. Yeah, we were just saying we wish it was open for like a couple more hours so we could just see everything in the yeah. park.
So we just watched Aquanura in the dark. That was epic in the that dark. That was fab. We stood round the side as well. We felt really close to it. Yeah, we did feel closer to it. Oh, and also I think knowing the music more from yeah. around the park and like knowing when that comes on, it sort of adds to it. The lights, seeing the lights was fantastic. Yeah. In the dark, yeah, it it's, was. It's amazing. It was sensational. It's really good. Yeah, I loved it when it was daylight, but obviously there's things that you don't get with no. it being in the daytime. Yeah, you do I it mean, at night, at, at night is you know a different level. Yeah, it's just um, a good alternative to like fireworks. You can see all the colours. That yeah. makes such a huge difference. Yeah, really enjoyed it. They're not lying. They are not lying on that decking. That is the sign I read out <laughs> before I fell over. <laughs> The entrance is spectacular. This is one of our favorite things, this stained glass window. As we came out, we noticed that the quill at the front is all lit up. Home sweet home. Teas have been made. We're never too far away from below deck. <laughs> we just know, popped this on. on. It was on. It was on, but we are going to put on. We've already seen that one. Disenchanted. Little Efteling takeaway. <laughs> um, so Martin's gone for pizza this evening and I have gone for some chicken nuggets. We're actually still quite full from Cash Bar because I had that huge um, pasta dish, which was so good. Um, so yeah, I just fancied a few little chicken nuggets this evening. Just chilling, gonna watch film, get cozy, got my Udi on and have a little tea as well. This tree house is just so cozy. So I went for the barbecue meat feast pizza. This looks lovely. And uh, this time we got some cutlery as well. Let's have a little look at these nuggies. How many? 12. You could get 6, 12 or 20. So you could get 20 as well. Oh, Ooh, they look good. They look really nice. Nice. Ooh. And Disenchanted is ready. 
I don't know why. I feel like I have to watch films that have like a fairy tale aspect to them in this treehouse. <laughs> had our food yes we did been watching <laughs> got hat hair <laughs> disenchanted and then we um had a little break and put up some stories on our instagram yeah it just um, made me uh think back over the day and everything yeah. we managed to do and... it was a really really good day really really good and we've got lots more efteling fun tomorrow we yeah. don't really have a plan we need to have a little chat about what we want to do tomorrow yeah, definitely was... go to winter efteling at night because it looks stunning still got some rides that we want to do mm -hmm. python max and moritz yeah uh yeah it's quite, it's a, there's a few a few little rides that. that we need to there's some other stuff as well yeah as we walk back like, yeah. when are we gonna do that when are we gonna do that, do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're gonna leave this vlog here and then in the next vlog we'll be back in efteling so we'll see you then yes if you like this one hit the like button and also subscribe bye Toodle Pipsky. I'll be your